guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. I am here to show you the flip through of my William Morris journal that I did. Um, the digitals that I have in here are uh, from Digital Hobby Helper on Etsy. Um, and it's William Morris Digital Paper Paintings and Fabric Texture. And then there's a William Morris Junk Journal Ephemera Pack that... Um, I got so again if you want to take a screenshot of that this is um, from Etsy from digital hobby helper so let's get started with the flip through uh, first I want to start off this fabric is actually fabric that my mom has had in her stash for quite some time and I really fell in love with it and I thought it kind of fit the um, William Morris theme this is just some trim I had in my stash and then a digital that I printed out from Pinterest. Uh, so we do have, um, this is actually a really nice size journal. Let's see what we are measuring at. So this one measures about seven and a quarter by five and a half. And then she's good, she's a good chunk. She's measuring about two and a half inches in thickness. So let's go uh, get to this flip through. I just have an uh, eyelet to tie with some sorry silk. Flip this open. Again, beautiful digitals from that digital kit from Digital Hobby Helper. I have my regular letter to the journal owner. Um, some lace here for a pocket, just a little bit of ephemera. Our first page we have this um, uh, Hermelinda flip, I think it's called. I just put some lace and a little bit of bling. And then this is a tag that I just had on hand um, that I did for, uh, I think a challenge, a five item challenge with someone. So just tuck that in there. Some more William Morris fabric prints. Some of my dyed papers. Um, here is pieces from the kit that I have kind of jazzed up. So just some fun tags that I put some lace on, added like a butterfly on this one. And then this is just a piece of uh, ephemera from Tim Holtz. So again, I just use this little piece to make a cute little pocket. Um, I have a sack in here, a little paper bag that I decoupaged a napkin on. Again, very reminiscent of um, William Morris. And then inside there's a whole bunch of goodies in there. I'm not going to pull everything out. Um, yeah, a ton of goodies. And then there's also this cute little journaling card. Get that back in there. Um, on the back here, I just, uh, this is just a, a picture of William Morris and just a quote underneath here from him. Another tag and postcard from the journaling kit and another Tim Holtz piece there. So just, this one was kept really simple. I just love the, the pattern of it and I think it goes so well with that page. Check that back in there. Uh, here is just a, a cluster that I had on hand. I thought it was cute and popped that on the edge of the page. Uh, some more just fun little pieces. I think these are just little uh, dollar store little uh, post-it note type things. Here we have a, a receipt that's kind of a fold out. This is a piece from the ephemera kit that I used as the little kind of tab to pull this out. So you can definitely have lots of place to write on there. And on, that's on my coffee dyed paper. Gorgeous. I just, I love how this journal turned out. So here we have a really cute altered paper clip. I just stuck a little Tim Holtz person and a piece of ribbon on there. And then just some Again, fun ephemera pieces. This is one of my little kind of inspiration um, card type things that I always usually include in my journals. Get that to pop back on there. We'll put it back on the page. Look at this, just gorgeous. And it goes so well, I think, with, with this 
page here that I coffee dyed. Um, this is a piece from a Recollections paper pad. The border, again, was very reminiscent to me of William Morris, so I just kind of cut the border off and used it as a belly band, and then tucked some postcard and fabric pieces inside. Look at that. Doesn't that go well? Love that. Just some receipt, little tiny receipt page in there, just for something different. And then I added these cute little... Um, coloring pages again very reminiscent of of William Morris to me another uh, William Morris paper that I made into a pocket and just kind of embellished and then just some fun pieces that I had in my stash added a little doily um, this is a tri page pocket um, I guess I'll call it so just uh, some pieces from the kit that I made a big uh, pocket for this big journaling card here. Take that out there. So again, lots of place to write on the back. And there's fabric on there as well just to add some texture. And then these cute little tags that can be written on. Uh, this is some of that upholstery fabric that I have on hand, and again, I chose patterns that kind of made me feel like it was William Morris inspired, some kind of like paisley almost. So that was kind of a fun little fabric flip there. Now we're into the last half of the signature. Um, this is a little kind of bloom, circle bloom pocket, I guess you could call it, and you open it up and there's a little envelope inside you can write in here. Um, and then there's just some little items to find inside. And then this just kind of folds back up. Let's see if I can get it to fold properly. Put that in there. This is a little tricky. There we go. And then in the back here I made it a pocket. And I've got one of the postcards from the kit. As well as one of my collaged business cards. That back in. I really enjoyed this journal. It came together rather quickly once I got flowing on it. Um, this is a cute little uh, window envelope flip out. So you can write in here and then there's just this cool little coffee dyed index card that you can write on. And then this comes out. It's a cute little journaling card. back in. I think that looks super cute. And then um, there's the other side of that coloring page. <clears throat> a fun lace page. The other half of that receipt book. Some more of my dyed papers. I just love these. They turned out so well. And then this is just a piece uh, I... Uh, what did I do? I embossed it. I used an embossing folder and then I used some um, inks and sprayed and just kind of got them moving around and then I did some collage on there. This is a little William Morris stamp and then just some journaling cards in the back or in behind. And then again another little postcard here made into a pocket with just some cute little ephemera pieces, a little place to write on here. And then I got this really cool duct tape at uh, the dollar store and it just kind of, I thought it went well with that kind of coloring page. So yeah, really cute. And this is just a little paper cluster piece that I had on hand that I sewed just, you know, for some interest on a page. Another one of those little um, pieces from the dollar store, just some fun sticky notes. And then this is the other side of that uh, paper bag that I uh, decoupaged. I decided to actually adhere this piece to the um, page itself um, just to create a cute little pocket here with some ephemera pieces in it. Another piece from the kit that I used as just kind of like a tab. Uh, this is a really cool fabric flip. Um, again, just using pieces from the upholstery um, sample packs that I get. 
added a little bit of bling just just for some fun and then this is a really cool little pocket from I think this was a recollections paper pad um, kind of little ephemera piece and inside I have this little um, kind of fold out wallet type thing that's got more ephemera pieces I'm just little pieces to discover in there and that brings us to the last part and in the back here is uh, this is again just some ephemera I had on hand you would see that in my um, what the hell is ephemera video um, if you haven't seen that definitely check it out I just uh, backed it with some paper that you can write on I just like the colors and I thought it looked cool in here and then just some more little fun pieces that um, are from the kit or that I had on hand just to just to add to the pocket for bits to find. So that is the end of this one. Now I am taking this this weekend to uh, my craft fair. Uh, if there's anything left over it will be uh, listed on my Etsy so be sure to check that out I will try to have everything listed and posted um, Monday uh, for whatever has been left over from my um, craft sale so yeah I hope you enjoyed this William Morris journal flip through again uh, the digital kit is from digital hobby helper all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video and PS I love you